Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Marketing with Business Central. I would like to talk to you about the possibility to add attachments to a contact, for example. And why could this be an interesting feature also for you? If you have, for example, PDF files or any data which you want to add to a contact because it's impossible um, otherwise to find it so quickly if you need it, you have always the possibility to use this functionality in Business Central itself. We have two ways and I would like to show you both of them in a special contact card. So if you please click on contacts and then choose one of the contacts you can see here. I will take my contact card, which I uh, created before and just open the card itself. First, what we can use is the uh, so-called interaction functionality. And to use this one, we need a special interaction template. For our little exercise, we use an inter interaction template code called INSDOC. That is uh, an example of what we find in Kronos. So how can you do this? You go on Actions, Create Interaction. We are now in a page where you can choose an interaction template code. Please If you follow me now, choose Insert Document and we can make a better description. Let's say it's a contract. 27th of Jan, 22nd. Here you can have uh, the possibility to fill the responsible salesperson who was in charge for this special template. If you are ready, you just click on OK and do the special type what this interaction template has. Another window comes up like import and now you can choose. The system um, links you now in the Windows Explorer and now you can, let's say I just take my example here, uh, you can choose a file. It's It doesn't matter if it's a, a document, uh, if it's a PDF, a Excel, whatever. And I just click on open. The system now imported this uh, file into the database because in the marketing setup, I had the option on embedded for attachment store. The next thing what this uh, system is doing is asking me if I want to create an opportunity. In this case, no, I don't want to have an opportunity. And where can I see the attachment now? Um, the easiest way is the history. So you click here on navigate, history, interaction log entries. And here we are. We have now several documentations. As you can see, this is our one, the contract signed on the 27th of 20, uh, 22nd. If you want to see um, this file, you have, of course, the possibility to uh, double click or even show attachments. It's also the possibility he exports this file now. And you can see it here on, on the left side. He opened the Word document. As you can see, this is just an example, what he shows us here. So you can always read the attached documents or PDF data or Excel data without any big problem. This is number one, how you can add um, files to it. And the other one is directly in the info and fact boxes attachments. When you open a contact card, you probably see this view. If you want to jump to attachments, you go in here. In the case, um, you have an URL, as it means address from a website. Example, your SharePoint server in, in the cloud. You can just use links as well. If you want to add a link, you click on the plus. And here you have to enter the URL address from the server, which is in the cloud, by the way. And you can uh, he will he will fill the description automatically with the link, and you can overwrite the description for to make it more clear. And when this is done, you just say OK, and you could open later the link directly from this fact box. So it's very easy and simple. In my Area where my users working with, they use mostly the interaction uh, template codes because it's for them easier. And as you can see, you can always uh, open up the documentation again over the history and everything is tracked with the contact. The positive thing is it doesn't matter 
who wants to uh, see the information, everybody can normally take a look at the contact card in, in the interaction log entries. So everything is com cumulated on the contact card itself. To come back, I just click here on the little arrow or press the button Escape and go back to the main page. We go here on the left-hand side on the company name. Thank you very much for watching. 